Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bara habita fillah qala allahu ta'ala fi kitabi al-kareem wa'abudullaha wa la tushriku bi shayin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us in this verse he says wa'abudullaha and worship Allah and do not associate partners with him in this ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us with ibadah, tawheed al-ibadah or tawheed al-uluhiyah. And he is prohibiting us from shirk. So here in this ayat, there is a nahi wa ithbat, or there is a, there's an, uh, an amr wa nahi. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala begins with an amr, a command. Worship him in him alone, and then he prohibits wala tushriku bihi shay'in and do not associate partners with him so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often throughout the quran many of the ayat they have both a command and a prohibition the command to tawhid and the prohibition of shirk polytheism and shirk is the gravest of sins wa a'dhama amr wa a'dhama naha allah anhu ash-shirk and the thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibits the most and detests the most is shirk. And the thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands with, that's the greatest command, is tawheed, is worshiping him and him alone. So the mu'min is ordered to constantly be aware of that because we forget sometimes we take it for granted yes we pray we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but do we really command the good and forbid the evil do we really avoid shirk and all of its manifestations do we really uh, practice tawheed so as believers we have to remind one another to command the good and forbid the evil to practice the greatest commands and the greatest command is the haqq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the Prophet والسلام, said in an authentic hadith, in the hadith of Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiyallahu ta'ala an. He said, Ya Mu'adh, atadri ma haqq Allah al-ibadi, wa ma haqq al-ibadi ala Allah. O Mu'adh, do you know the right of Allah upon his slave and the right of the slave upon Allah? He said, Allah wa rasulu wa alam. Allah and his messenger know best. Then the Prophet والسلام, said, haqq Allah al-ibadi, and ya'buduhu wa la tushriku bi shayin. He said that the right of Allah upon his servant is that he worships him alone and does not associate a partner with him. So letting us know to fulfill the haq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our divine purpose. And that is a right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the mu'min is ordered, commanded to fulfill the right of all of creation and fulfill the right of the Creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with thabat, with sunnah, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyana Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.